This is our friend Kevin. I am in the middle of remodeling my bathroom, so I wanted to reach out to both Becky and Vanessa and ask them if they could help me flip this vanity. So, can you help me flip this vanity? Of course, yes. All right. Today we're gonna to show you how to refinish it in just a few simple steps. And for under $100. The first thing that you need to do is remove the hardware and take the drawers out of the piece if you're able to. Wait, hold on. You have a screwdriver. I have this silly... <laughs> a drill? Oh, no. <laughs> this is why I'm not letting her use it. Don't lose your screws. Yeah, put them in a safe space. I hate when that happens. Yeah. TSP, trisodium phosphate. Safety gloves. All right, be sure to uh, read the instructions because for each project it's slightly different. Hold on a second, gotta, and what are we using that for? Like, what does that do? This is like a cleaner times 20. What it does is it removes all any residue, dust, dirt, sticky stuff, gets it right off. You're gonna be so impressed with this stuff. And I just do this? Yeah, I would use the rough side. Oh, scrub. Okay. It's literally, do you see how it just wipes everything off? After applying the TSP, rinse your piece off really well with just water and then dry it. After the surface is completely dry, ready to go, you want 220 grit sandpaper and sand that baby out. 220 is intense. No, 220 is the opposite. Oh, that's right. pretty fine. That's right. A lesson in sandpaper. Mm -hmm. The higher the number, the, the more rough. gentle. Gentle. The lower, <laughs> the rougher. The more intense. Hold on, why do you have a drill and I have because a Because I'm, I'm allowed the tools. Sand with the grain. She has an electric sander. I have a sponge. Like, I've never even seen anything like this before. She this doesn't allow me. Right. Use a damp rag to clean off all the dust from the sanding. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look how good it looks. It's so clean. Painter's tape. Place it wherever you do not want that paint. Kevin moved the vanity out of the bathroom for us, so it makes the job a little bit easier, but if you don't have that luxury, tape on, on your sink, on the floor, inside the sink, wherever you need paint prevention. We are going to prime this bad boy. A lot of paint comes with paint and primer in one, and it is very possible to just paint over whatever you have, but we're doing the extra couple of steps to ensure that it's really smooth, really clean, and also it's going in a bathroom. What happens in a bathroom? Moisture, shower, mm -hmm. moisture, hairspray, perfume. F yeah. Primer's dry, you're just gonna take that light sandpaper, run over the piece one more time just to make sure there aren't any clumps, chunks, lumps, or bumps. <laughs> Two to three coats of paint, depending on the coverage that you're looking for. Once that's dry, time for top coat, but the top coat is definitely optional. Let it completely dry for 24 hours before adding that hardware back on. Once that hardware's on, you're good to go. You got that fresh, new vanity. We can't help ourselves. We went with magnolia paint again. Did you see what I just said? Yeah, I, well, you always get to throw stuff and I get so mad because. Uh, Let's okay. do it at the same time. Ready? Ready? Go. Go. <laughs> see, who's better with the paintbrush? Mm. Thanks for taking time with us this Friday. Time to live your best life. One, One Friday, Friday at a time. time.